Once you've completed a piece of work in Word, it's very important to review your work carefully. Spell and grammar check is an important technique to use on a regular basis, particularly when you've finished your document. We can all get carried away with entering our document and ignoring some spelling and grammar errors that might have, have come through. So before you finalise a document, it's always worth doing a spell check. And you can do that on your review menu. So within a Word document, you click your review menu and you will see here you've got a spelling and grammar button. If I click on this button, it brings me up a menu down the side here. And within my document, it's going to highlight anything it thinks is wrong. And you can make a judgment as to whether it is wrong and to correct it or whether it is perfectly acceptable. So the first thing it's picked up here is the abbreviation DR for doctor. And I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to say ignore. And this doctor's name, it, it can't find in its dictionary, which is absolutely fine. I'm confident that I've spelt that correctly. So what I'm going to do on this occasion is I'm going to say ignore all. So every time this name comes up, this particular document is going to know to ignore it for me. And you can see here I've now got the word here highlighted that it thinks it's wrong and that is a typo. Um, I've, I've typed the word considerations incorrectly and what it brings you up here is it brings you up some ideas and some suggestions of what you should or could want to use. So it's actually this top one. I highlight the, the option I want to change it to and I click change. Again, I've had another typographical error and I've typed the word ownership incorrectly. It only gives me one option and I choose change. Now, if you remember, we had this at the beginning. It brought up the the abbreviation for doctor. On that occasion, I only said ignore, not ignore all. On this time, I'm going to say ignore all. So every time it finds the abbreviation DR dot, which is a perfectly acceptable abbreviation for doctor, I'm going to ask it to ignore it. Now it's come to a document, a word here that should say boosted. It is actually the first on the list highlight it and click change. And you can also see that it's come up with some terminology that it can't find in the dictionary. If I'm happy with that, which is the name of a parasite, I'm just going to say ignore. There's a word here that should say feces and again been typed incorrectly. I'm going to choose the second one in the list of options and choose change. You can see here this is an American spelling of labour and what it's done is it's given me some options. I'm going to choose the UK spelling of labour and it tells me that it's finished checking my spelling and grammar. So those are a really useful routine to get into before you save a document, before you finalise it. It's always worth going through and checking the spelling to come up with anything that you might have typed incorrectly completely by accident.